what's up everybody welcome back to the channel model building corner so I've been at it um, I swapped out the uh, 0.03 needle with the uh, 5.5 whatever it is um, springing much better and I'll show you what I got going on all right so I got this is only one coat of primer I had a feeling that this was why I needed to go with an airbrush I mean you don't lose the detail the rattle cans are just so heavy you lose detail so I don't know you guys let me know if I got happy what do I do two coats three coats of primer or just two what's the deal I didn't spray the body yet because I want to get some feedback uh, got the dash in primer covers gorgeous I'll tell you what though it takes a hell la 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 it takes a a lot longer to spray this than it does a uh, rattle can so I got that all primered got the uh, whoops uh, exhaust and the radiator cover all primered got those engine parts uh, under the hood parts primered so what I did was I reshot my test piece again. I said I wet sanded well I didn't really wet sand it, but I sanded the old primer test off. And this is um the again it's the hold on let me get it. This is the AK acrylic primer. Um I had a feeling that it was thin enough. Where did my other test piece go? This was the Camaro hood that I had left over. Um, I didn't like the way it was spraying originally. I diluted it. Um, I reduced it. Not 50-50, but kind of like maybe 75-25 paint to reducer. Um, and at first I wasn't liking the way it was spraying so what I did was I cleaned out the airbrush and I just went straight uh, no reducer and at 20 psi it's spraying it's spraying perfect so I'm assuming you don't have to reduce the uh, AK acrylic because that's that's straight out of the bottle that's straight out of the bottle man that's looking good so obviously I did see it's a little thin back there. I'm still getting used to having a how how to move everything around with the airbrush in my hand to make sure I hit every piece. But I really like the way that's laying out. And let me show you the compressor. You guys let me know. I've got the it's off now because I just got back from the grocery store. But uh originally I was at 50 psi. Now with the compressor running, I would turn it down to 20 but when I press the uh, air airbrush it'll drop so do I set it at 20 while holding the airbrush open or do I set it at 20 and then let it drop while you're spraying so let me know that anyway guys keep this a nice little short update and uh, I will see you guys on the next one appreciate everybody thank you